Yo, 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 what's up? It's your motherfucking boy, Jose Jose. And with the first podcast, we are here to talk about Hogwarts Legacy, as you can see by the title. So now, I don't usually put my two cents in when it comes to political moves like this or um, Twitter talk. Because this is literally Twitter talk. This is The way I see it, this is Twitter talk. This doesn't belong in the gaming community at all. But we're going to get into it and we're going to dive right into it. <laughs> So with that being said, I've been doing my research on the video game. I've been doing my research on why people are getting attacked for playing these certain games. Why um, are you considered transphobic if you play Hogwarts Legacy? And I couldn't find a definite answer. People have so many reasons on why, but most of the videos I've seen is just people getting attacked. So when I see those people getting attacked, it's like, okay, I've heard it. You're getting attacked because you're playing the game. But I'm trying to figure out why are people attacking other people for playing the game so with that being said i came across certain videos and apparently one of the main reasons one of, not the main reason one of the reasons is because jk rowland uh said some transphobic comments in the past and apparently if you play the game and you, you uh read the books and you watch the movie then you're transphobic because you're supporting jk rowland's and the movie and the book and whatever the case may be and um yeah so with that being said it's like okay i do understand that to a certain extent but at the same time i'm not a harry potter fan i'm not i'm gonna be honest with you i'm not a harry potter fan but at the same time is harry potter has a really big name to it you know what i mean harry potter is still in disney world if you go to disney world there's a whole land of it you know what i mean so what is the real reason because at the end of the day you have people who go into the Harry Potter world. I've been there, and I see people from certain communities go in there, have fun, have that that ugly, that nasty ass beer they sell, butter beer, whatever it is. And you know, I seen a lot of people. But now, when we're talking about a game, people are attacking other content creators and other streamers for playing the games and calling them transphobic. And I think it's sad because one of the one of the people that was getting attacked was also part of that community. And I think it was sad that um, of certain comments that was said, which I'm not going to say here because it was terrible, ugly comments. But with that being said, I'm trying to nitpick. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out what is the problem. I'm trying to figure out why are we why are people, you know, attacking other people for playing this game? And I don't seem to understand why. Um, so so that's the first part of why you're transphobic if you play the game. And it's because you're supporting J.K. Rowling. Um, you're buying the game and. Apparently, when you buy the game, you're supporting transphobic, which I don't know. Which I don't know how you guys feel about that. Uh, I don't think that's true. I just think you're playing the game because it's video games. We've been doing this for a long time. We've been playing video games that we just like. Um, there's so many other games that are like either sexist, um, homophobic. There's so many games, but no, none of those games has caught the attention like Howard Legacy, a game that has nothing to do with sexist, a game that has nothing to do with um, any type of political move or movement, um, a game that doesn't attack females or males or trans. It's a game where you fly in a broom and you, you use your powers and you become a wizard, you know? Um, so I was confused. So now... As I'm doing my research, I'm seeing some people in the community talk about, oh, it's transphobic because you're not allowed to make trans characters. So now it's like, okay, that's kind of a reach. You know what I mean? Like, we're reaching now. Okay, so you're saying people are transphobic because you can't make trans characters? So then apparently later on, I don't have the game. I don't play it. Harry, po Harry Potter is not my thing. It's not my taste. It's not for me. I don't... You know what I mean? It's not for me. Uh, I'm pretty... It looks like a fun game. It looks pretty cool, but it's just not for me. I'm not going to be flying around in a broomstick. But the thing is, apparently, after a while, after this, this comment was being made, after people's voice was being heard about, you know, not being able to make trans characters, apparently now you can make trans characters. But people are still not happy. So my thing with this is, when did video game become such a political move? When did we start using video games to make political moves on real life things? Because the way I see this is, this is a Twitter talk. Whenever we start getting into political things like, you know, sexes or religion or um, 
or 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 you know uh, certain communities. That's Twitter talk. That does not deserve to be in the gaming community at all. And maybe I understand. Okay, it's in the gaming community because you know you want to make a certain character or you want to uh, do this and do that. But I don't think that gives you the right or give anybody the right to attack certain content creators or certain streamers because they're playing the game. And that's what mind blows me because I've been watching videos. Like I said, I've been doing my research trying to figure out why are people mad about Hogwarts. And I've been watching content creators who is either straight or part of the community get an attack. And I think regardless of anything, we're a gaming community. No matter what your gender is, no matter what your belief is, we're here to have fun and we're here to play the game and we're here to respect each other. But the thing is, we have turned into such a world. We have gone into such a dilemma where... People just don't have that respect for you no more at all. There's hurtful crimes. There's things being said like yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Delete yourself. There's comments saying delete yourself. You don't love yourself. You're a, you're ashamed of the community. And, you know, and then saying you're, you're transphobic or saying, you know, you don't deserve to be here. And I think it's crazy that people can go out their way and attack certain people for just playing a game. Video games was never a political move. And we shouldn't allow video games to make political moves. If a video game person makes a certain type of game, then that well, let's just enjoy it. Video People doesn't make video games to say, oh, there's only two genders, or there's more. Because you have video games like, for example, GTA. GTA is probably one of the most sexist games out there. But I never heard GTA getting canceled. I never heard anybody getting attacked for playing GTA or South Park. Did you guys know, the darker your skin color is in South Park on your character, the harder the level is? Like, literally. But you never heard anybody... Attack South Park's video game for that. You probably heard people attacking South Park for being, for being, you know, not hurtful, but for having these kind of jokes where certain people don't like it. Yeah, but never, you never seen anybody attack the video game. You never seen anybody go on somebody's stream and say, oh, you know, delete yourself. You're transphobic because you play this game. So what makes Hogwarts Legacy so defined? What makes Hogwarts Legacy so interesting? That's what I want to know. And I seem, I don't seem to understand it. I really don't seem to understand it. Is it the author? Is it the character creation menu? What is it? Honestly. Or is it just using this game as a political move to say there should be more trans character in the game? Which I'm not against it. 100% there should be. Because if you look at old games like WWE, you can make a guy character with a female's voice. Or even Saints Row, I'm pretty sure. You can make a co- you can make a guy character with a female voice, and vice versa. You can make a female voice with a guy's. You can make a female character with a guy's voice. You know. So my thing is, what is the what is the real reason on why you're considered being a transphobic for playing Hard Work Legacy? Maybe I missed something. Maybe there's something that I'm not catching. Maybe there's a couple videos that I didn't understand. So I want you guys to please tell me. Why is playing Hard Work Legacy transphobic? Because I don't get it. Let's keep political movements away from video games. And let's keep it on Twitter. Because at the gaming community, we don't need to be negative to each other. We are here to have fun, respect each other, and just enjoy the game that is being put out. Because at the end of the day, these games have been worked on for a long time. This game is not easy to make. Because, shit, if you think it's so easy, then become a developer and make one of the greatest games ever. That simple. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoy the podcast. Hope you guys enjoy the topic. And just, again, make sure you let me know down below why you just state your opinion. You know, just give me your opinion on why it's transphobic or why it's not. Give me your opinion. I want to know what you guys got to say. All right? Peace. Peace.